Welcome to yoga. My name is Marinda. We'll start off in a comfortable seated position. Legs can be crossed or take the legs out in front. Once you get situated, go ahead and lift one hip up and then the other. If this is still uncomfortable, feel free to get a blanket and place it up under your hips. We're trying to get in perfect posture. So we'll straighten out the spine, bringing the shoulders up around the ears. Exhaling, round the shoulder blades down the back. This helps to open the chest up. Resting the hands in the lap. Gently closing the eyes. Moving into our yoga breath called Ujjayi breathing. We'll breathe in and out through the nose. As you inhale, round out your belly, filling it with air. Exhaling, pull your navel in to your spine. Let's keep it low. We'll gradually work on a three-part breath. So we'll take it in stages. Keep inhaling and round out your belly. Exhale, pull in. Moving to the next stage. Inhale, round your belly. Lift up into the rib cage. So we're expanding the rib cage in four different directions. Exhaling, pull the navel in. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Moving to the next stage, inhale, round your belly, lifting into the rib cage. See if you can bring that air all the way up to the collarbones. And exhale, pull the navel in, pushing all of the air out. Continuing with this breath on your own. Coming into the breath can be very relaxing. It helps you get centered onto your mat and beginning your practice. <clears throat> this is the breath we try to continue throughout our practice. Lowering the hands down. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms up. Exhaling, relax the arms down. Take a deep inhale, lift all the way up. Taking the chin up and exhale, lower down. Deep inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling, lower. Relaxing the hands to our sides. Taking right ear over to right shoulder, keeping shoulders relaxed and breathe. Keeping the head over to the side, but we'll take the chin down toward the chest so the head's at a right angle and we're stretching out the left side of the neck. Bringing the ear back over the shoulder. Inhaling, lifting the head up. Exhaling, take left ear over to left shoulder. And lowering chin down toward chest. Stretching the right side of the neck. The ear lifts back over the shoulder. Inhaling, bringing the head up. Taking a deep inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhaling, twist over to the right side. Placing your left hand on the right knee. Right hand comes back to the base of the spine. Using the hand to lift yourself up tall. Take a deep inhale, round your belly. Exhale, try to pull the navel in and take your right shoulder back. Deep inhale. Exhale, twist. Let's do one more. Inhaling and exhale. Maybe even take the gaze over the right shoulder and continue to breathe.
Deep inhale. Exhale, twist back to center. Inhaling, lift the arms up. Exhaling, twist over to the left side. Left hand is behind and sit up tall. Inhaling, round. Exhaling, twist back. Inhaling and exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale, twist. Maybe look over left shoulder and breathe. Inhaling, exhale, twist to center. Taking a deep inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhaling, place hands right here in front. Chest is lifted and we'll push the tailbone down. Staying right here or take a deep inhale and exhale, walk hands forward just a little. Keep lifting the chest and pushing the tailbone back. Let's do one more. Deep inhale, exhale, walk hands forward and breathe. Walking the hands back in, coming to a neutral spine. We'll take the legs over to the side, coming up to all fours. Anytime we're at all fours, we want wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Take the middle part of your peace fingers and point it to the front wall, spreading the rest of your fingers out wide. You push more into the front part of the hands and into the fingertips, taking pressure off the wrist. Navel pulls in and the shoulders lift up. Taking the right leg back, push your heel to the back wall, keeping toes turned down so the right hip will stay down. Shoulders keep lifting. Left hand slides forward. Feel free to keep the hand here or lift the hand up. Reach long. We're stretching the heel to the back wall and pushing fingertips to the front wall. Trying to find a spot on the mat to focus on keeps from straining the neck. Having the option to tuck left toes under for more stability. Keep reaching long, lifting in the right shoulder, and breathe. Exhaling, round your back, pulling the knee and elbow in. Try to lift everything up. Inhaling, reach long. Keep lifting up and stretching long. Exhale, round. Inhaling, reach. One more. Exhale, round. Inhaling, reach. Lowering the hand down and the knee. Feet are together and we'll take the knees out wide, pushing the hips back to the heels, lowering the forehead down toward the mat for child's pose. Child's pose is our resting pose. Feel free to come here at any time during practice. Coming back up to all fours, knees under hips, wrist under shoulders. Taking left leg back, push the heel back and keep that left hip turned down. Right hand slides forward or lifts. Reach long. Finding that spot to focus on. And breathe. Exhaling, round the back, knee and elbow in. Inhaling, reach. Exhaling, round. Inhale, reach. Last one. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Lowering the hand down, then the knee. Sitting back into child's pose, taking a couple of breaths here. Inhaling, come up to all fours. We'll move through our kneeling half series. Hips come forward. We're trying to make a straight line from the top of the head down to the knees. So we pull the navel in and lift up in the shoulders. Keep that navel pulled in 
Elbows come in like you're trying to touch your ribs and exhale slowly, take it down to the mat. Moving through kneeling plank, we go all the way down to the mat. Pull elbows in, hips and toes are flat on the mat and we'll inhale, lift up, pulling shoulder blades down the back. You should be able to lift the hands here so you're using core strength. Pushing up, exhale back into child's pose. Coming back to all fours, moving through that kneeling half series once more, or come up into full plank. We're on the toes, pushing the heels back, navel in and shoulders lift up. Elbows pull in, Exhale, slowly take it down to the mat or hover right above the mat for chaturanga so the shoulders and elbows are level. Inhaling, lift up to upward facing dog. The hips push down toward the mat and the chest is lifted up. Navel pulls in, exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Feet are about three to four inches apart. We're looking between the feet, pushing the hips up and back, trying to take heels down toward the mat. Bending one knee, we'll push the other heel toward the mat, then switch it off. So we're walking the dog. Both heels lower back down toward the mat. Looking forward, we'll take one big step or several little steps coming into forward fold. Hands and feet meet. Keep a bend in the knees, chest is on the thighs, and shake the head yes and no once or twice, releasing tension in the neck. Inhaling to half lift, hands on the shins, legs get straight here. We'll pull shoulder blades together to straighten out the spine. Exhaling back into forward fold, keeping knees bent, Take a deep inhale, come all the way up, arms out to the sides, we'll bring palms together. Exhaling, lower to heart center. Moving through sun salutations, lowering the hands down. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms up. Exhaling, swan dive into forward fold. Inhaling to half lift. Exhaling back to fold. Stepping right foot way back, we'll gently lower the knee down. So we're in kneeling lunge. Chest is lifted up. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms up. Let the hips sink down, shoulder blades relax. Exhaling, hands come down. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank. Option to lower the knees. Pulling elbows in, exhale, take it slowly down. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling back. Right foot lifts all the way up, trying to push your left heel down. Swinging the right foot forward will gently lower left knee. Lifting the chest back up. Inhaling, arms come up. Relax the shoulders. Exhaling, hands down. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank. Feel free to lower the knees. Elbows in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling back. Looking forward, step or walk into forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling back to fold. Deep inhale all the way up. Exhaling, heart center. Hands lower. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling to half lift. 
Exhaling back to forward. Stepping left foot all the way back, gently lower the knee down, lifting the chest up. Deep inhale, arms up. Exhaling, hands down. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Coming forward to plank. Elbows in and exhale, take it slow. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling back. Left foot lifts all the way up. Bringing the foot forward. Gently lower right knee down. Chest is lifted. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, hands down. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank. Elbows in, exhale lower. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling back. Looking forward, step or walk into forward fold. Inhaling to half lift, exhaling back to fold. Deep inhale all the way up, exhaling, heart center, hands lower. Take a deep inhale, lift, exhaling fold. Inhaling to half lift, exhaling fold. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg all the way up. Push that left heel down. Hips are pushing up and back. We'll swing that right leg forward between the hands and gently lower left knee down. So we're back to a kneeling lunge. Chest is lifted. Now draw the right foot and left knee toward each other like they're magnetized and you're trying to pull them toward each other. You have the option to stay with the knee down the whole time we work through this lunge series. Tucking the left toes is an option and push the heel back like you're trying to push the back of your knee up toward the ceiling. Keep lifting the chest up. Breathe. Placing hands on right thigh. Push away from that thigh. Stay low. Shoulders relax. Pushing the left heel back. Chest is lifted. Staying right here. Or lift the arms up. Shoulders relax. Chin comes up. And breathe. Exhaling, hands come down. Having that option to lower the left knee, we'll bring right hand inside of the right foot. Use a block here if needed. We'll take the left hand and place it on left hip. That left heel is still pushing back, trying to turn your left shoulder back so we're stacking the shoulders. Choosing to look down over to the left or even look up for a little bit more of a balance challenge. Exhale, lower the hand down. Staying right here, we'll keep the chest lifted and move into lizard pose. Feel free to lower that left knee down, maybe even lower to the forearms. Try to pull your right knee into your shoulder and breathe.
Coming back up to the hands. Taking right hand outside of the foot. We'll bring left hand closer to the foot. Placing right hand on right hip. Turning right shoulder back so the shoulders are stacked. You still have that option to lower the left knee down. Looking down, over to the right, or even look up. Maybe take the arm up into a twisted lunge. Exhaling, bringing the hand down. Gently lower the knee down. The hips come back and we'll take right leg back. Taking a breath here at child's pose. Lifting the hips, tucking the toes, we'll come up to downward facing dog. Coming forward into plank. Elbows in, exhale slowly lower. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling back. Lifting left foot all the way up. Reach the toe up to the ceiling. And bring the foot forward between the hands. Gently lower right knee down. Lifting the chest up. Feeling that magnet pull the left foot and the right knee together. Keeping the knee down or tuck right toes. Push the back of the knee up to the ceiling and take the heel to the back wall. Placing hands on the thigh. Push back. Stay low and take that heel to the back wall, keeping the chest lifted. Hands can support here or lift the arms up. Shoulder blades down the back and the chin comes up. Exhaling, bringing the hands down. Left hand comes inside a left foot. Choosing to lower the knee down or keep the knee up. We'll bring right hand to right hip and turn the shoulder back. Exhaling, bringing the hand down. Moving into lizard pose. Try to pull the knee in, staying up tall, or lower down to forearms. Coming back up to the hands, bringing left hand outside of the foot, right hand comes closer. We'll take the left hand and put it on the left hip, rotating that left shoulder back. Maybe lift the arm up. Exhaling, bringing the hand down. Gently lower right knee. The hips come back. 
we'll take left foot back and lower back into child's pose, taking a couple of breaths. Lifting hips, tucking the toes back to downward facing dog. Pedaling the heels one at a time toward the mat. Having the option to take one big step or a bunch of little steps or even pull navel in and bend the knees. Take a light little hop into forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling back to fold. Deep inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling, heart center. For balance pose, we'll work on tree pose. Lifting the toes up, spread them out wide and lower down. Heels lift up and down. Hands come into heart center. Chest is lifted. We'll take the right leg out to the side, bringing the heel above your ankle to your calf, or bring it all the way up to the inner thigh. Chest stays lifted. Maybe take the arms up and overhead, steeple the fingers and reach up tall. Breathe. Option to open the arms up, maybe lower, or even come into reverse namaste. Release the arms, back to heart center. Take the leg out to the side and shake out the left leg. Beautifully done. Let's lift the toes up and down, heels up and down. Left leg out to the side, chest is lifted. The heel comes above the ankle to the calf or all the way up, keeping chest lifted. Breathe. Maybe the arms go up and overhead. Option to open or lower, maybe reverse namaste. Bringing the arms back to heart center, release the leg out to the side, shaking out the right, very nicely done. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling to half lift. Exhaling back to fold. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Taking right leg, lift it all the way up. Bringing the leg forward, we'll take it at an angle and wiggle the left foot back. Try to lower your left hip toward the mat. So we're moving into pigeon pose. If you need a block or a blanket up under the hip, it helps you lower that left hip down and gets a better stretch. Keeping the chest up high, or maybe lower down to your forearms. Option to lower the chest down over the leg. Try to breathe and relax with each exhale.
Coming back up to the forearms. Lifting up to the hands. Push that left hip back down, keeping the chest up tall. We'll bend the left knee so the toe is pointed straight up. Staying right here or reach back with one hand, maybe with both. Push the foot into the hand and pull your hand into your foot, helping to get a chest opener. Lowering the hands down, tucking the left toes will lift all the way up, downward facing dog, walking the dog, getting circulation back in right leg. Taking pigeon over to the other side, the left leg lifts all the way up. Bringing the leg forward, take it at an angle and wiggle right leg back. Again, pushing that right hip toward the mat to deepen the stretch, staying up tall or lower down to forearms. Maybe lower the chest over the leg. Slowly coming back to forearms, up to the hands, lifting the chest and turn the right hip down, bending your right knee. Stay right here or reach back. Lift the chest, push and pull with the foot and the hand. Releasing the hands down, lifting up and step back, down dog. Pedaling heels one at a time. Both heels lower to the mat. Coming forward to all fours. Moving through cat-cow, exhale, round the back, pulling your navel in. Push away from the mat, really round the back in cat pose. Inhaling, bring the head forward, roll shoulder blades down the back in cow pose. Exhaling to cat, inhaling cow. Moving back and forth between the two at your breath. Once more in each direction, coming to a neutral spine. Crossing the feet, we'll sit back and bring the legs forward. Lifting one hip up, then the other. Feet are flexed and we'll push the legs down into the mat so hard that the heels lift up just a little bit. Bringing shoulders up, rounding them back and place hands at the hips. Pull the arms in, chest is lifted. We're very actively sitting here. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest. Pull your toes back as you exhale, reach your chin toward your toes. Reaching the chin toward the toes helps to keep the spine straight so we're not rounding over and pulling the lower back. Take a deep inhale, exhale, hands come to the thighs or to the shins. Keep reaching the toes back and reaching the chin forward.
Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, maybe grab the bottoms of your feet. Keep reaching the chin forward. Only pull if the legs are straight. Exhale, lower nose down. Pull the navel in, slowly round all the way up. Take a deep inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhaling, hands lower. Keeping the feet flexed, we'll make a steeple out in front. Shoulders relax, steeple and heels reach forward and we'll pull the navel in. Exhale very slowly, lower back. Taking your time, try to take one vertebrae toward the mat at a time. Getting some core work added in. Heels push forward. Taking the arms up and overhead, reach that steeple to the back wall and the toes reach to the front wall. Stretch as long as you can. Exhaling, release the arms. We'll pull both knees into the chest. Hands are resting lightly on the knees. Feet are flexed and we'll circle the knees. Reversing the circle. Knees come back into the chest and we'll lower the feet down. Hands at your sides. Taking right ankle, place it on top of your left thigh and open the right knee up. Reaching through, grab hold of your left hamstring. Feet are flexed. Stay right here or lift that left heel up. Push the heel up and bring the toes down toward the mat. Exhale, lower the foot down to the mat. Arms go out into a T-shape. We'll let the legs fall over to the right side. Use this right foot to push down on the left thigh just a little bit. Maybe look over to the left side. bringing the legs back up, taking right leg, cross it over the left leg, and the left hand comes outside of right thigh, letting the knees fall over to the left side. Taking right arm, lift it straight up. Exhale, let the arm fall down to the mat. Push and wiggle into the left shoulder to relax your right shoulder. Choosing to look up or maybe look over to the right side. Bringing the knees back up, uncross. Taking left ankle, place it on top of right thigh. Reaching through, grab the right hamstring. Feet are flexed.
option to lift the heel up. Push the heel up and toes pull down. Lowering the foot down, taking your arms out into a T-shape, letting your legs fall over to the left side. Left foot pushes down on right thigh. Option to look to the right. Bringing the legs up, left leg over the right, and right hand comes outside a left leg, letting the knees fall to the right side. Left hand lifts straight up, exhaling, take it down to the mat, pushing into right shoulder, letting that left shoulder relax, looking up or over to the left side. Bringing the legs up, uncross, pulling knees into the chest. Nose comes up toward the knees and we'll wrap the arms around the shins. Feet stay flexed and we'll make a tight little ball. Staying right here at center or maybe rock right and left. Exhaling, lower down. Lifting the hips up just an inch, tuck the tailbone under, and we'll take the legs straight up for inversions. Feet are flexed. Options are to place a block up under the hips. Maybe place a strap around your feet just to hold the legs up. We're trying not to pull down on that strap if you decide to use one. If you would like to roll back into shoulder stand, lift the hips up, supporting the lower back, and let your legs fall back to a 45 degree angle. Try not to turn the head right and left here. If you have any neck issues, it's best to keep the hips down. Exhaling, slowly lower back down to the mat. Feet come down, knees are pointed straight up. We'll move into bridge pose. Feet are about three to four inches apart, pushing your feet, your hands, and your shoulders into the mat. And we'll lift the hips up just a couple of inches. The tailbone tucks under, so you can lift the hips up a little higher. Choosing to stay right here or walk the shoulders up under your back like you're trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together and clasp your hands on the mat, trying to lift the hips up a little bit more. Unclasp the hands, the shoulders walk back out. We'll tuck the tailbone under and slowly lower one vertebrae at a time. 
pulling knees back into the chest. Getting ready for Shavasana, grabbing blankets, jackets, socks, anything you need to keep yourself warm. The hips lift up, tailbone tucks under and lower right back down to help flatten out the back. We'll lower one leg at a time. Letting your feet splay out to the sides, palms face up. Taking a few minutes of quiet here. Try to relax and melt down into the mat. Shavasana is deep relaxation. It gives your body a chance to absorb the poses and let them take effect. Gradually bringing awareness to the body by wiggling fingers and toes. Taking the arms up and overhead, stretching long. Exhaling, release the arms. Rolling over to the right side to relax and rolling to the left side to energize. Tucking the arm up under the head. Knees come into the chest like you're curled up in bed at home. Using the top hand, pushing up, we'll come all the way up into a comfortable seated pose. Taking a deep inhale, lift the arms up palms together, exhaling down to heart center. At the end of each practice, we use the word namaste, meaning the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.